So I went hiking this morning in Tillamook National Forest in Oregon. And yeah, it was it was a good hike. That the nature around here is mind-boggling and insane. It's it's crazy how green places can be. And I was also thinking about how there's like three steps or there, there's a process to hikes and it mimics and mirrors other aspects of life so when i'm hiking especially when i'm alone and especially more diff difficult hikes they these manifest more clearly in those situations what uh when i'm starting out when i'm on the way up i'm more in my head so i'm more doubting fearful skeptical, just caught up in my head, caught up in, in endless loops, thinking about other things. I tend to get in that mode in the beginning because that's kind of our default mode in, in today's society. And then once I get to the top, it's like a climax moment. So it's when I burst out of the, the limitations of my head and my ego, and it's, it's a climax essentially. And that's when, when you're at the top or the summit of the mountain. And then on the way down, it's like more, I'm more in my heart space and I'm more just coasting down. So it's, and that's where a lot of creativity flows to me too. So on the way up in my head and on the way down, it's like smooth sailing in a way. My feet are on autopilot, ideas are coming to me. So it's a, it's a much more beautiful experience typically. And again, this is more of a, a predisposition predisposition than a rule it it's just a tendency and it tends to happen in other aspects of life too an obvious one is psychedelics so if you've ever done psychedelics there's there's a fear factor involved you don't know what's going on who you know you're exploring other realms who knows it mimics the same cycle that that's the initial part and then you have some climax moment you have some epiphany and then there's the the landing period. Um, this also applies to like doing anything you're uncomfortable with that turns out to be good for you and fun. So like roller coasters too. Everyone remembers the first time they went on a roller coaster. They were really scared at first, and they're most people are scared going up when you're going up that first hill. You're terrified. You're in your head. You're cycling through thoughts, and then you have that climax moment where you just release all of that and you're you're in the moment and then you're you know you're sailing through and then when you finally pull back in it's it's like coming out out of a hike and you just feel renewed and you have that like vibrancy to life so it applies to many things it applies to travel too the same kind of process is mirrored in travel you're afraid of leaving your comfort zone you see how awesome it is, and then you're you're coasting, and you're a better person after. So, yeah, it's it's an interesting cycle, and I like I like drawing comparisons and connecting the dots between seemingly unrelated things because a lot of things mirror each other. So this process applies to a lot in life, and it means that even if you are in your head, even if you're fearful, and you know it's something that's good for you because you know when something's serving you or not and when something's going to cause you to grow and be more happy you know <laughs> you know those things so push through keep going because you'll get to a point you'll get to that climax point where you're like wow this is why i was doing it and that's really what it's all about okay so keep that in mind you know go on the journey keep pushing through reach that climax point and coast coast down and then Come out a better person. Come out a happier person. Better is arbitrary. You know, whatever. If you're happier, you'll, you'll feel better. That's the essential part of it. All right? Peace, peace. Much love and one love, baby.